what is up everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video today's video is going to be all about how to combine your schoolwork and your training during those delightful few weeks of the year aka the few weeks where you have your final exams the few weeks of the year where you will have the most work to do for school um, and you also want to keep training so I'm going to show you guys today on how to exactly do that so the reason I want to make this video is because uh, I've been training for three years and during those three years I was always a student so whether it was high school university or college I have always had uh, exams and I've always found a way to combine training and schoolwork so I just kind of want to sh uh, share with you guys the things that I have discovered and the things that I have done over the last few years to combine the both. So let's get into this video. So the main tip that I would give you is to prioritize your training within reason over your examination periods. Now the reason for this being is because in life you obviously have uh, things you need to do and you have things that you want to do. So school unfortunately is something that you need to do. Uh, you have deadlines, you have exams that you need to do so there really is not a way uh, to say that you're not going to do them. And you have things that you want to do which I hope would be training and obviously you want to find a way to do them both. Now in this case obviously training is a thing that you want to do and if you prioritize the things that you want to do over the things that you have to do you will do the things that you want to do, but you also most likely will, will do the things that you have to do because you have to do them. You have deadlines that you have to hit. So what I will do is I will make sure that I will go to the gym on the day that I have to go um, and I will um, kind of plan in all my schoolwork around uh, the hours that I actually have left. So um, obviously in the beginning I also said to um, prioritize the training within reason. Now this obviously like if you think about it, it kind of makes sense. Like, if you um, are someone that is doing a university uh, that does uh, a master's degree, if you have um, an essay to write, if you just have a ridiculous amount of schoolwork to do, you have to prioritize your training, but I'm not saying that you cannot change your training. So let's say that you uh, used to go to the gym six times a week or five times a week. You can also just go um, three or two times a week and prioritize those three sessions so what you do there is you make sure that you're still training make sure that you still hit everything throughout the week but you are not taking too much time away from your schoolwork so you have to kind of find the balance of you know how much can I train and how much you know do I want to train so you have to kind of be um, realistic there you have to obviously like if you know that you're training too much and you know you're not having uh, enough time to do your schoolwork just take away time um, that you're training but personally I never did that because I always tried to make the most out of the hours that I actually had um, to study so I didn't have to take any time away from my training sessions so that is something that I personally didn't do um, also something that I feel like helps massively if it comes to combine the two is make a day plan get some structure into your days and you will find that you actually end up using your time a lot more efficiently so um, something that I, that I also do during this period of time is I will actually wake up every single day at a set uh, time and I will just plan my day out. So what that looks like for me would be um, I wake up at about uh, 8.30 in the morning, I will shower um, and do everything that I you know do just to kind of freshen myself up. I will do work from let's say 9.30 in the morning up to 12 o'clock, then I will have um, then I will have my first meal and then just you know some relaxing and then I will uh, from let's say one o'clock uh, to four o'clock I will again focus on work primarily and then at four o'clock I would just say whatever I'm doing I'm gonna drop it and I'm gonna go outside do some physical activity whether that is uh, working out whether that is running whether whatever it is um, I will prioritize that period of time and I will use that period of time to focus on training then when I come back I will eat uh, I will fish myself up again and I will uh, spend the rest of the evening um, doing schoolwork again so doing that gives you a lot of structure it gives you a, a way of being very very efficient with the time that you actually do have and you end up having very very productive days all right so that is definitely a tip that I do want to give um, when it comes to combining both. Now, 
Now I'm gonna kind of talk about more my experience with combining the two. So personally for me, I have always done them both. I've never uh, dropped training when I was uh, doing my exams. And the reason for that being is because when I combine the both, I feel so much better. Um, I study a lot better as well because obviously when you're training, you're getting oxygen into your brain. You're just, you know, releasing stress, releasing, you know, anything that you've kind of built up uh, during the day. And I actually find that when I come back from uh, from training and I've eaten something, I am laser focused. Like I can go through a lot more um, stuff than, than uh, that I would go through um, if I was just first thing in the morning or uh, whatever time of day. So after training, I tend to find that I study a hell of a lot more efficiently. I also find that if you study something before training, there you go training and then you uh, rehearse it again. I find that training makes it so that it kind of seeps in, if that makes sense. Also something that I do want to talk about is also um, when I go to my uh, finals, when I uh, have those few weeks of a lot of schoolwork, I, uh, my caffeine intake tends to skyrocket. So uh, I have some caffeine throughout the day just to study uh, more efficiently, but I also have some caffeine uh, pre-workouts. And I tend to find that if I don't train it at night and I will have caffeine throughout the day, I tend to be very hyperactive. Like obviously caffeine, apart from it um, improving your concentration, also makes you very active and like very um, energized, um, if that makes sense. So if I don't train late at night, if I have caffeine all day, I tend to be very, very bad tempered and like very, um, you know, agitated and just like not really in, a, in that good mood. So uh, in a way, training late at night also um, allows me to have caffeine, but also like not be a massive dick when it comes to the end of the day. So uh, then the last thing, obviously, uh, stress management. So obviously those last few weeks, those final weeks will be very stressful because obviously um, as I feel like um, um, a lot of students go through, you don't do as much beforehand. The night before the exams, you tend to just um, study late at night and all that stuff. And, you know, stress definitely builds up in the body. And training is a very, very good way to release uh, stress and to kind of get rid of it and to um, feel better again. Because um, it is very, very important that during those weeks of finals that you actually don't lose your mind, that you don't turn into this uh, introverted, very, you know weird person that you really don't want to be i guess so uh, that is something that also helps um when you are training so that is kind of all things i do want to cover i hope you guys took something away from this and i hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching the video uh if you did make sure to subscribe and like the video uh if you have any uh, things that you want me to make or any things that you want me to change to make my content even better that would be highly appreciated and i'll see you guys in the next video